Hair removal is annoying. It's tedious, sometimes painful, and not always effective. So why do we do it? Well, it's yet another thing you can blame our ancestors for. Hair removal actually dates back to the Stone Age, when both women and men would often shave their heads and faces for battle or as a hygienic precaution. Cave paintings even depict cave dwellers using seashells for tweezers and flint as a razor. So there you have it. Cavemen had the first disposable razors. Now let's travel to ancient Egypt. In Egypt, cleanliness was key. Egyptians bathed several times a day, and men, women, and even children were expected to maintain smooth, bare skin free of any hair. And over in ancient Greece, we see the first gender division on hair removal standards. Ladies, we all have those days where our legs have that oh-so-scratchy stubble. It's fine. We'll fire up our Gillette when we have a moment to spare. Well, we wouldn't have survived ancient Greece, that's for sure. Women were expected to be Barbie doll smooth everywhere, and they didn't have disposable pink razors then either. To banish unwanted peach fuzz, women either plucked every follicle or singed their stubble away with hot ash. Meanwhile, men were expected to have thick beards. Having silky smooth stems was considered unmanly. The stigma of having body hair wasn't one that disappeared over time. In 1871, Charles Darwin published a book, Descent of Man. Perhaps you've heard of it. His theorized that female body hair was a sign of competitive selection, something no longer necessary in a civilized society. Fast forward to 1900. Thanks to high collars and conservative hemlines, women stopped having to worry about shaving. It's when flapper dresses came in style and skirts started to shorten that brandishing body hair became a concern once again. Sandpaper, pumice stones, shoemaker's wax, and even x-ray radiation. Women were willing to try anything to achieve bare thighs and polished pits. Today, our methods have improved, but hair removal is still a tedious process. In fact, women spend approximately 72 days of their life shaving. Cost-wise, all those shaving products add up to over $10,000 in total. All for smooth, hairless skin? While it all seems unnecessarily painful in more ways than one, it's really about personal preference. So you can shave it all off or sport your stubble proud. It's your choice.